Welcome back everyone, I am Deepak Kunyal. In previous tutorial, we have discussed the way a function can be declared, defined and called from another functions. We have also seen that a function can be called with or without any number of arguments. If we consider this example, we are declaring a function cube with, with return type int and, and is taking one parameter or one argument of integer type. Here in this line, I am calling this function cube with one argument whose value is 10 and the function is defined here which is taking that parameter x and returning the cube of variable x. We have also discussed the way two or more function with the same name can be defined in a scope and this is called function overloading. In this tutorial we will go into more detail of the way function calling mechanism is implemented in C or C++ and to understand that how C++ perform function call we first need to understand a data structure that is called stack. stack is also called last in first out data structure and why it is called so we will see this with the uh, help of an example let us suppose this is stack so to understand stack we should understand this pointer as well understand this as a pile of books where we can keep books on one another but we can remove the book from the top only and here we can see there is a top of stack pointer and we need to either in, uh, insert the values or pop the values or remove the values from the stack with the help of this pointer. So when we start inserting or pushing values in the order 10, 20, 30 and 40 and 50, we will see that 10 is, at the, uh, 10 is uh, at the bottom and 50 at the top. And when we, when we start pushing, uh, popping or removing the values in some order, first value we will get from the stack will be 50 because it is at the top and then we can get 50, 40 or 30, 20 or 10 in the reverse order. So what we can, wh what we see here that the last item that was pushed on or inserted on this, onto the stack is the first item to get removed or popped from the stack. And this data structure is similar to the data structure that is used in function calling mechanism in C or C++. So the data structure that is used in C++ is called function called stack or you can also say that it is program execution stack. So it, it, it supports function call and return mechanism. It also support the creation maintenance and destruction of automatic variables. What aut automatic variables are we will be discussing in uh, coming lectures uh, in the topic of storage class but for this moment we should understand that automat automatic variables are some local variables plus some parameter that are passed to a function and these local variables are parameter are let us consider this example this is automatic variable and this is automatic variable i can also declare this automatic variable like this auto int a equal to 10 but this auto is uh, optional here and if you don't write auto in front of a uh, in front of a uh, declaration of a variable or definition of a variable that will be automatically auto or automatic so as each function is called it may in turn call another function as you see in this example a function is called uh, op operating system uh, routine or operating system will call main function which in turn may call another function q which we are calling here and q might call another function so that depends on the program but each function eventually must return control to the function that called it. So let us consider this example. Execution starts at this point, at this location I can say. And this is called or this main function is called by operating system. In this line 
call to queue happens and then control d is here so when control d is and this is cube definition i can i should say and when the control d is at this location the program will be uh, or the function will be executed and at this location execution completes and now it should return control to the to the main function so how it could return control to the main function or if i see this line here the execution of main function completes and it should return control to the operating system so uh, how it is possible how it can return control to the operating system and how it could uh, return control to the main function we should maintain a track of return addresses suppose address of this line is 16 so this queue function should maintain a track record of this line 16 let us consider this is address of this line so we should maintain a entry for this location that queue function should return control to the line number 16 so each time a function calls another function an entry is pushed on to the stack and this entry is called stack frame or activation record stack frame or i can say activation record each time a function is called an entry is pushed on to the stack and what this entry will contain this entry will contain return address that is needed to return to the calling function plus some additional information and what this additional information is so for the moment we can uh, we should understand that this additional information could be automatic variables of the function when a function return corresponding entry or uh, when a stack uh, when a, when a function return control back to call function or calling function a corresponding entry from the stack is popped so when a function is getting called its entry is pushed onto the stack when a function return control back to calling function entry from stack or i can say function call stack is popped so each time a function return control or uh, each time a function is is getting executed it always find the necessary information that is needed to uh, return uh, control back to the calling function or you know, for its execution so we'll understand all these things Uh, with the uh, help of a diagram, and we'll consider we'll take uh, an example of uh, we'll we'll uh, consider this example uh, for the for understanding this mechanism. So let us go back to this slide and see here this diagram. We have a main function which is calling queue function, but what happens when we write like this? Or let me first compile this program. stack frame stack frame is compiled now when i write this dot and slash a dot out the f first the program will be loaded into the memory and then execution will start q of 10 is 1000 which is final result of the function but uh, what we see here when i write dot and slash the operating system will load this program into the memory whole program into the memory 
and we'll start executing from this main point um, main function so there is operating system behind be, behind the scene which is calling main function and suppose the location from where the operating system is calling this main function is at the location r1 so when this main function return control back to operating system it should know where is uh, where it should go so when it when it, it will complete execution it should go to the location r1 so what we do or what c++ does the and the corresponding entry for this main function will be pushed into the stack and this entry is called activation record or call stack or you can say stack uh, stack frame so the thing that is uh, that is maintained by this stack frame are the return address where it should return control and second thing it have automatic variables as we have discussed previously and the top of stack pointer is pointing to this entry only now what happens when a, f a main function called q will go to this now main function invokes function i have written square here it should be q to perform some calculation when q function is called its entry is pushed to the stack and now the top of stack pointer point to the this location or uh, this entry so it also need to maintain the return address where it should uh, return control and automatic variables so in this case automatic variable is x whose value is 10 and second is return address and return address should be from the location where q function is being called in this case r2 when this function completes its execution the entry for this top of uh, um, from the stack will be popped and now top of stack will point to the this main function after that when main function completes its execution this entry will also be popped and the control will reach to the operating system so in this way when a function is being called corresponding entry is pushed onto the stack and when a function is when a function is returning control back to the um, function from where it is called corresponding entry from the stack is popped in this way the variable that are maintained with these entries or stack frames also get destroyed so a life of this automatic variable will be uh, will be till the time when it is in stack frame so in this way the function calling mechanism works in c or c++ but one important thing you should understand that memory is finite so this could lead to some error in uh, at some point of time if the if, if if the entries we are pushing into the stack are more than the storage we have available in function call stack and this kind of error is called stack overflow and when it occurs if more function calls occur then can have their activation record stored on the function call stack we can understand or we can show this uh, through an example let us suppose try to call q function multiple times from q so i am calling x from main so what's going to happen here first there will be entry pushed into the stack for the main then an entry will be pushed for the q and when it calls q and another entry will be pushed into the stack and it, 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 it will uh, it will keep going and will reach to the infinite because we are not stopping the function from getting called at any point of time so let us uh, 
compile this program and try to run and see if uh, any error occurs here so uh, as we have seen previously the program was running successfully now we will try to compile it again and see there is an error segmentation fault so what segmentation fault is and what kind of error it is we will discuss these things in more detail but for now I think it's uh, sufficient uh, for this lecture if you have any doubt or query please put it in the comments or you can write me a mail or you can visit our facebook page facebook.com uh, slash the easy concepts and i will try to revert back thank you so much